Hello, peeps. Welcome to another episode of Boundless. In this episode, we are going to be working on our base a little bit. Um, finally getting around to doing some um, base building. I've kind of redid some of the um, base stuff that I had already done. So, um, in this episode, we're going to do the storage. So, first things I want to do is we'll get started on um, digging up this floor. We're going to go with a different type of floor than what I had originally started with. Um, I was going to use wood, but now I'm going to use stone. And actually what I'm going to put down is going to be a temporary flooring yet. So I'm going to do stone for right now. But in the future, I will eventually swap it out for brick once I get into making some brick. So let's get this all dug out. I'm actually going to dig out underneath where the storage will actually go just because I would want to make sure that nothing's going to be sticking out that I don't want sticking out. And what we'll do is I'll build this first area up with uh, with you guys and then I will cut away and I will finish the rest of it and then we will come back when I'm when I am done um, I've had to move like sections of the storage around to be able to create enough space to be able to work in here um, let me find my materials I want to build with and I got to remember how I placed this. Okay. So this is going to be our temporary floor. Until I can get um, some bricks made up. Ah. I've been experimenting with a couple different color choices and I think this light um, we're using a oxide gray I think this works the best with the black storage and the other dark concepts of my my builds like the black walls I'm using the black metastone for the walls um, let's grab our storage. I think a hundred is enough for right now. So I was going to do a two six by six chunks just because I like the, um, I like the ability to be able to look at this middle one and see like all of them in that. So this center row was just going to be like a pillar in between them. But I think what will happen is I'll just run out of space too quickly because a 3x3 three three hasn't been enough for all of the igneous, or not igneous, but metamorphic rock that I've collected. So I would be putting it in multiple 3x3. Three sections which wouldn't be bad um it would look it would look kind of cool but i would just need so much more storage space so we're gonna stick with this like a wall of storage there we'll still have a three by three here oops And then we'll have another 7x3 here. But 
like so. And then, um, I gotta find. I might have to jump on my alt quick to find those stone that I was using for the walls. I just placed all that, so it's not going to be there. Um, let me switch really quick. I probably have it on twisted. Let's see, do I have, I do not have them on this character. Well, where did I put them at? Not there. See, I really need to, that's why I'm working on the storage today, because I really need to get the storage straightened out just because of the fact that it's taking me too long to find things when I need them. Um, where else would I put it at? That's the stuff for the roads. All right, well, I'll be back. I need to look and find where I put this, these refined rocks at. So I'll be back when I find them. All right, so I found them. I guess I had them put away in the actual storage bin where they belong. Now I gotta remember how I placed these. I think it was that way. All right. So these might be temporary too. Um, I don't know for sure if I'm going to stick with these, these color blocks. Does that place some? No, it don't. Does it go up and down? No. I must have placed them. Did I place them this way? Okay, I placed them that way. I think I can place them like this and have it be placed the same way. Yeah. I'm knock that one out. in above here and I'm gonna put some other block in between here so then my walls are gonna to be too thick in most areas and then that way I can um, chisel this outside wall and not have it have like holes showing all the way through it just will enable me to add more depth to to the build
All right, and then we're going to put some gleam in there. I need a chisel. Because we need to chisel this piece down. Um, I'm going to leave this piece right now because I believe I would want to chisel this a little bit different to slope it all the way up. And I don't have the chisel skill to be able to do that. So that's going to be that. Um, how do I want to put the gleam? Now, unfortunately, the way the block placement works in this game is you have to... I'll, I'll have to put a temporary row down. And the reason I'm using stone is because with my, with my um, hammer mastery, I can dig or remove stone quicker than I can remove sand or anything else because I can one-hit rock and stuff. trying to decide if I want to keep this that high which I think will look good let's try it once um, I just need to figure out where I want to put the if I put one there one there and one there and then one there one there, one there, and one there. And then I think that'll give us enough. Light in this area. All right, so I can chisel that one. It'll be this these other ones in the corner that I'll need to chisel differently. This one right there will need to get chiseled differently. And now I like, actually really like the look of sand in this game. It just adds zero prestige value to a build, but that's okay because I, I kind of hope to make up for it in other areas of my build. So I am going to use sand for the ceiling. So now we got that. And I don't know, this might be a little too much if I did that many. And basically, that's what the storage will look like. And like I said, I probably, well, I'm going to switch this out for brick. But I might also look for a different wall material. But I wanted something somewhat lighter. 
and everything else was gray and black so I might try to find a a, bray, a gray colored block to use but I think for right now this will work good um, and mean that I can one shot rock it wouldn't take me nothing to swap it out for something different um, once I get to that point so that is one of the storage areas now I need to do that um, I think it's five more times one two three four five more times and then my storage area will be complete so I am going to do that now and then I will be back when I am finished okay so I am back after completing all of the different sections and my storage area is complete for my base um, the cool thing about the way that I designed my base is I can duplicate this exact setup on the next level up and be able to expand my storage in the future if I run out of storage space down here so let's take a look at the finished product So I need to, I'm going to mess around a little bit more with um, these archways, um, but for right now this will work. So we got six of these little storage coves and they're lit, lit up enough that I don't need to have like a torch or anything in my hand and be able to see everything in the different storage containers or storage blocks. Um, we got all of the chiseling done. I don't know too much about if I like this. I, I lowered these down to put the lights a little bit lower to help um, brighten it up in here because it was just a little bit dark. And it just caused a little bit of weird lighting. So I ended up putting some gleam down in the floor for now. Um, my original plan was to put like a bunch of tables here but I think four is more than enough so that way if I need to quickly craft something that's craftable in a in a crafting table be it um, stone from rock or whatever I can quickly just stop here and craft it instead of having to run all the way over to the crafting area so I'm pretty pretty happy with how this turned out except for maybe this little piece right here it's pretty crazy how smooth sand is and even when it's chiseled you have to look pretty hard to be able to see that this actually drops down one block right here and and this is all sloped around it um, from a distance it's really hard to see like right here you can't you can't tell that that's really slope down without like looking and seeing that you can't see the stone behind it but I am pretty happy with how it turned out um, I did have to steal some of the some of the refined stone from there to finish the flooring in here but I wanted to get this all complete at least to this point now as more items as more items become available available to me as I level up some more I will be exchanging some of those items out. Um, I see this is I don't know if I'm supposed to I might need to take that out. Oh crap. That was not good. Uh, let's see if I can fix that without having to do much else. There we go. Oh, and we leveled up. Level 36. Alright, so um, I might be able to, I might just line it with tables all the way around or I just leave it like this. Um, some of this gleam stuff I'll swap out for gleam lanterns once I make some gleam lanterns 
Um, some of the materials I'll swap out for better materials, be it machined metals or whatever. But this is this is the start. So um, in an upcoming episode, we will tackle the workshop area as we expand the workshop area. Um, real quickly, get an idea of what the overall design will look like outside. Um, I need to come in and I wanted to chisel um, like a little middle section of that out. I don't know if I have, yeah, like this, just to add that little bit of depth to it. So I need to come and do that to the rest of these gleams and then obviously build this up some more. Um, I want to add some of this decorative stone, um, but I need to craft some of it to put some borders around. And then I'll be able to do some chiseling inside of these areas here to create some depth and make it look cool. So that is going to be all for this episode. Basically, just wanted to get my storage area built. So now that that's built, I can actually come in here and get out of the rain when it's raining because I have I actually have a roof over my head now. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Hit the like button if you liked what you saw and subscribe if you want to see more content. And I will talk to everybody later. See ya.